previously on Painter's Guild. It's starting to really come alive now. Any mistake I make was a detail I chose. <laughs> Who eats half a pickle and then puts the other half back? Who does that? Well, I have commitment issues. I have so many questions. Welcome back to Painters Guild. I'm Will Friedle, and we are here with master painter Brian Merlangi, who is here to teach us, guide us, bring us along this journey to make us suck just a little bit less at painting minis. Of course, we have been working uh, for the last two episodes now on the Red Dragon, which is awesome. It's from Reaper. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a very, very cool mini. It's been very detail oriented. We started with washing. Oh no, excuse me. We started with dry brushing. Yeah. Went from dry brushing to some like level one highlighting. Went from the level one highlighting uh, to then doing kind of the more detail oriented stuff, the bone, the mouth, uh, the base, which is kind of where we left off in the last episode. We are now back and ready to finish this guy up finally. This has been an intensive kind of uh, painting experience and hopefully you've been painting along uh, at home with us. We've got our paints, we've got our brushes, we are ready to go. What do we do now? All right, so the very first step, now that everything's dry, uh, it's important for it to be dry because we're now going to be adding washes dry. to shade things. Ooh, talent yeah. in and a can, talent really in a can. I really like this talent I in do. a can. I do, I love washes. This is, yeah. It makes all your mistakes look like they were supposed to be there. Totally. I love it. And my nickname, actually, when I was being mentored by my teacher was Brown Wash. I'm, I think we talked about that last season and I think I didn't say anything about it last season and I'm going to continue with that because yeah. that's a weird nickname and one you shouldn't be proud yeah. of. Where yeah. should we go? All right, so the next step. What's next, brown wash? Does that <laughs> okay. sound right to you? No, see that reminds me of my tutelage. <laughs> yes, What's this brings me step? back. Uh, so the very first thing, since it's going to take the longest to dry, uh -huh. I typically do the stuff that's going to take the longest to dry and then I can work on other things while it's drying. That makes sense. Um, is going to be washing the base. Okay. So a dark gray is always, uh, sometimes you can use a brown wash, sometimes you can use a black wash. Okay. Um, it really just depends on what you want. A black wash gives it a little more contrast. Okay. A brown wash gives it a little more like it's dirty. Um, for this particular one, because I really want some nice contrast. We're going black. Me, we're going to go black. Sweet. Yes. So pop open your null oil. And what size brush should I be using? Uh, wash brush is always kind of a, a beefy, beefy one. Beefy so brush. You can either go small with the work hobby brush, or I actually think I'm going to use this brush here. So this, this is, is the, the base, base ho hobby brush. That's what I grab. Look, Look at that. that. Touche. Brush twin powers. Yeah. Activate. Form yeah. of water in a bucket. It was the worst. Wonder That's... Twin Power you could possibly have. I never understood it. Yeah, it was so, bad. So, what's the bad. plan? All right, cool. Uh, so, it's just a straight wash. You're All be... on the, we're covering everything on the base. Yep, yep. All right. So oh, you're... this wash is open, just... and I'm sensing bad things now keep, keep a in... foot at the Circle K. Keep in mind that the more you use, the longer it's going to take to dry. Okay, good right? to know. But the more you have, the more flow you'll get, which means the quicker it'll get done. Okay, I see what you're saying. So that is an so important... So you're using gravity. You are using gravity, exactly. And look how quickly it brings out all the details yeah. that help you identify later when you go into detail paint, which we're going to do next. Well, yeah, it helps you to... I'm supposed to paint here. I'm not supposed to paint here. I'm supposed a to do this. Exactly. So this isn't a big area. I feel like I'm actually already done. Yeah, I'm done. So that... So the wash stage, perfect. Boom. Couldn't be better. Boom. Yep. So we're going to let that dry. Okay. Important thing is, really want to creepy keep blow. that more creepy than I've ever seen in my life. Okay, good. Mostly Good. Have you not done creepy terrifying. blow? You pull it up eye level, you yeah. turn to it creepily, but not your body, just your head, and you go, and then move your head. That's creepy. That's the creepy blow. That was creepy. Gotcha. I felt instantly creepy. Good. I did. Can now we I'm close good. our wash? Because I am You can going close the wash. Around you, that is a really good idea. Yep. Next wash, sepia. Anytime I do bone, Anytime I do bone. You hit it with sepia. I hit it with sepia. Now, question, yeah. do we need to clean our brush between washes the way we would between yes. paint? We yes. do, okay. Always, yes. Always, always, always. So just it's just good a rule of it's thumb a to good convention. Your brush it, won't, it. it won't kill your paint if you mix them. Yes. All right, so now what are we doing? Same thing, right? We're hitting all the bone. You're hitting all the bone, and you know you're doing it right when all the cracks take on the color that you're washing. Okay. That is when you know that you've done it right. Now it's going to drip down because it's more watery. It's going to drip down onto. It'll the drip down onto bit. the red. Okay? It's not a problem. That is a really. That's another benefit to priming black. Um, black really is. It's a really massively hard color to uh, mess up. Okay, that's right. good to know. So if it drips onto the red or the black, 
it's really going to be negligible. So is it a good rule of thumb then when you're starting to paint? 100% black. Bl pl black is the way to go. Black. Yes, yes. Good, important safety tip. That is a great tip, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, always prime black when you're starting out. It's built in contrast, it's built in mistake barriers, it's kind of like bumpers and bumper bowling. Okay. White is really useful though if you're gonna be doing something just ridiculous. Like if you're doing a rainbow colored unicorn, you do not want black. Like you do. I mean, I paint them all the time. No, you don't. I don't. Well, what, you know what? I, I think what would be great is talking to a pro because frankly, I don't believe you or trust you. Yeah, yeah. So why don't we go to a pro tip? Yeah, We're gonna I jump we... to a pro tip right now and maybe hear from somebody who actually knows what they're talking about, okay? Will, I worship you, but you gotta learn something. Here, I've got this bright gold on this really disgusting figure. How do you make this bright gold disgusting? You use a wash. Washes are good for shading, but they're also good for weathering. All I do is wash it with Agrax, and it immediately blends in with its surrounding gross area. Now you can use this wash outside of the lines and have it dripping from some of the corners to create your own custom weathering to any figure that you've painted. Let it dry, seal it, you're good to go. You got that, Will? And we're back, and I was wrong. He didn't know what he was talking about, but hey. I feel like he did. You know, at least you've yeah. got a little something you can forget from our pro, Brian Merlangi. I think I have hit everything. Yeah? All right, hang on. Now I have to, I've been laughing. Oh, that looks amazing. Yes, absolutely. Sweet. Absolutely. Nigel's coming along. So we are done the washes. Man, it makes such a difference. It really does. I mean, the, the bone just looks like it's kind of weathered oh, and... Yeah. Oh yeah. Really cool oh, yeah. and the, the rock he's sitting on. Like check oh, yeah. that out. Oh yeah. It no, I'm I'm checking it mine, out. But I am awesome. I'm looking at the same thing you're looking let at. Let me see yours. Look at that. Let's compare. Let's compare. Let's compare. Mine's better. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean every chance I get to say that, I'm gonna say it. Actually, I would say so far, just the stomach thing you did it did is better. I think the rest of it looks pretty equal. The rest of it is equal. But yeah. like your obviously your lines here are better than mine are. Yeah, well you but know. I think mine are okay. That's the only part that took skill. So Hey, wow. It's the only part. Wow. So, uh, so we're gonna do a glaze. Oh, what are we glazing? Yeah. Uh, we, have we, we haven't glazed You've yet. Been, yeah, so we, so we just did a wash. Now this is cool because a glaze is useful when you want a little touch or a hue of the color, but you don't really want the full drip effect kind of, okay. of the wash. What right? is the difference between a wash and a glaze? A uh, glaze is thinner. A glaze is thinner? A glaze is thinner. Oh, okay, so it's like Glazes wash are generally light. thinner and brighter. Okay. Right? Good to know. So we're gonna wash the belly. Now we're gonna glaze the belly. Do we have to individually do each one? Or no, no, no. We... The application is the exact same as the wash. Show me. Just Show me like technique, this, boy. Just like this. Okay. Now here's the dangerous part. Oh God. If you don't use water, it will coat everything. But if you do use just a little bit of water, before or after or during? During. So like, put put the glaze on the brush. Put the glaze on, and, and then, then water. use water to wash it down, and immediately you're gonna get this really cool blended look to your scales, that it, it goes from being kind of spotty or liney to being actually blended in. Now, the more water you use, wa water's a really dangerous thing here because water can either be too much or too little. I've noticed, I think it's a little too much for me right now. Yeah, and so the way to tell if it's too much is it's running like no, crazy. No, mine's not really running like crazy, it's just, okay. it's not adding a whole bunch of color. And it shouldn't, so glazes are really supposed to only tint Barely. Oh, so then maybe I am using the right amount. It's just a bare, it's just a little, see how I've just tinted, just, oh, perfect. No, you're nailing it. Okay, good. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, good. yeah. It's just a little tint. Now, the more water you use, the less it's going to stain the original color you had on it. Okay, that makes sense. Right. Because it's like just watering down paint. It's just watering down paint. And since glazes are naturally already thin. Uh, and they're it, thinner it, than washes. Ex they're thinner than washes. So it goes yes. glaze, wash, paint. Yep, 100%. Absolutely. A, 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 on the viscosity scale. On the viscosity scale that doesn't exist. Well, I just made it exist. You did make it There's exist. There's a lot of stuff I make exist you, just by imagining it. You did. But look how that just blends it all in, right? It really gives us this nice fiery look. And the whole thing, when I saw this mini right away, I wanted it to just have this amazing, I wanted it to be dark and gloomy with a really vibrant belly. Like that. Just like that. Perfect. And the really, the cool part, and the reason that I really wanted to use the glaze is that your base coat and then your two edge highlights, yeah. they can look like a lines, right? They can look like They can liney, look like you painted the lines. Like line. you right, painted right, the right, lines. Right, right. And in nature, this, this guy's not right. gonna have lines on him, right? Right, right? That's what the glaze does. The glaze oh, okay. really blends things together 
and gives you that. So it's that... almost the imperfections that make it look more real? Correct. So if that's the case, my dragon looks more real than yours. You just said so. False. Well, you just said. Oh, I can be right and wrong at the same time. Well, I don't think so. I feel like I can. Yeah, why don't you go eat half a pickle? All right, so. <laughs> no, it's a quarter. I'm not even gonna start with you. So then, I mean, is so this look the at only that. part where Look at glazing? that fiery, oh yeah, yeah. Look at that fiery, oh my God, does that not like Yeah, no, scream? it looks really cool. Fire. It looks really, really cool. That and I love, is... it does, it really does bring the, the glaze really brings the blend all in. Doesn't it? So it looks like it's kind of almost disappearing into the red on the exactly. sides. Yeah, really exactly. Really cool. That's exactly how glazes are supposed to work. Yeah, yeah. dig in that. Dig 100%. In that. And this, by the way, for the record, we yes. use the Blood Letter. Blood Letter. Uh, glaze yes, from, from Games Workshop. Yeah. yeah. yeah which now, is, which is here's great. another really epic trick that you can use for glazes. Yeah. That's a little known secret. We're going to do crazy lighting effects in like 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah. Clean my brush. It's really cool. Clean your brush. Get your white. So we're gonna paint the eyes now. Oh, for the love of God. You can do this. If you don't feel super confident, Should I go to a smaller brush? And uh, a detail brush, yeah, you want a detail brush. Cause we're gonna be painting the eye pupils. Yeah. But they're big on a dragon. Actually, I don't even see them. No, I see them. You're scaring so, me. So check out, the eye is right here. Right what? there. Where? See right there. No, I don't. Yeah, it's right there. That little tiny thing right there? Right there. That's, the, oh, come on! Right there. And that's the plan? That's the plan. That's what we're doing? That's the plan. I know you guys are probably thinking, oh my God, this is ridiculous. Yeah, no, it is. Brace yourself against your holder as you go in. So watch as I, as I paint, I'm bracing with my fingers. I'm getting very close to the mini. So I'm zooming in. I'm getting close. I'm hunching my back, which is bad for posture, good for painting eyes. And I am bracing my fingers against my holder. Don't sneeze. Couldn't be more perfect. Look at you complaining. And he's nailed it. It's all about, honestly, it's all about the bracing. So the white is the first stage in the lighting effect that we're gonna do. Now this is just basic lighting. This is nothing fancy. This is something that you guys can do at any um, uh, stage in your painting lives. Perfect. Fair enough. Perfect, yes. So all now right. the next step is taking that original glaze. Now it depends, so if we want our eyes to glow red, we use blood letter. There are a number of different glazes, green glaze, yellow glaze, blue glaze, that can make it glow in any color. Okay. We're gonna go with red because it matches the belly. Does that have to go, does it have to be bigger than that, my eyes? Um, I, the bigger you go, yes, um, the more glowy the eye will look. So a little bit more would be good. Man, I love that belly. That belly is just too cool. This dragon is just too cool. I am really digging this. How's that, is that better? Perfecto. Yep, perfect. All right. So give it just about the import, really important part before you go to do the glazing for the eyes. The white up. has got to be dry. Okay. So just give it, it really doesn't take very long. Move up to a wash brush and then take a bunch. Hey, I'm going, I can't go past the Will Wheaton. Hang on. <laughs> okay, so now we are going to a, wa a big, like, like this? Yes. Okay, and we're going back to our original. Back to your glaze. Back to the, yep. back. Back to bloodletting. Back to bloodletting, and you're gonna dunk it right into that eye socket. Nice blob of it, right into the eye socket. How much, and then how much did you put? Oh, you put it in a, a dunk. Quick. But the trick is, you put it in the droplet, and then you dry your brush and whisk it away. Whisk it away just gently enough that the white shines through with a red tint. Okay, I don't have enough to dunk. I don't, have, you, I don't have a dunk. I will systematically do this. Oh my god until the white shines through, just like that. And now I've got my glowing eye. Okay, I'm gonna now do the same thing on the other side. It and whisk away. Yep, doing the same thing on the other side. And it, I could not stress more that if the white is not perfectly dry, this glaze will whisk away the white. Like that? Mm -hmm. Oh, you whisk too much away. I whisk too a much away? A little bit more, yep, a little bit more. So add a little more to it? You want just a faint amount of the white to shine through. Just a faint amount. And the deeper the recess where the eye is, the better this effect will look. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Let me see the other side. I haven't done it yet. Oh, I'm still was making sure one side was working one right. One side was working. And it's cool because we're, the eyes are now going to match the belly, right? Now you just wait until we get the next step. Perfect. Oh, that one's even better. Bam. That one's good. Now let's do this. I tell you what. Let's do this to the stone, the one eye on the stone. 
This one here. Yeah. We're gonna do the same, put a blob in. White first. Oh, white first. White we are first, gonna, okay. remember. Yeah, let's do that because um, a good thing about composition on a figure is if you've got a color that you don't wanna go overboard on, like we've chosen this to be kind of a dark figure with a really bright belly. Yeah. Um, we'll take that bright and maybe put it three different places on the mini, kind of as a composition um, to so cool. kind of reiterate that color. And this is more um, art theory, right? Uh, and and comp composing your, okay. your figure. But I like to do that. I like to, if I'm gonna use one color, I'll use it in a couple different places. So I'm just painting the entire eyeball. Oh. Just one, just one eyeball. This is a mistake waiting to happen, as is that. Just one eyeball. And these are all the fine details that are the most fun to do. Now we're gonna let that dry. And while we dry, with the white, we'll still use white, we're now going to detail the, the uh, bone on the horns. Wait, what? So that's, this is right? Oh, actually, let's keep that. So this is gonna be interesting. So look at mine. Oh, you did just the ball. Oh, I'm sorry, I did the whole thing. I thought you said the whole eye. No, 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 no. But oh, I did that, I was doing that because that's what I thought it was. But we're gonna keep that. Oh, okay. And so if you mm -hmm. overpaint and drop the glaze in, it might look like the glow is spreading. It's oh, cool. like glowing. Yeah, glowing I, I could have done versus, that. I didn't know yeah, you were just yeah, doing yeah, yeah, yeah. the ball. Okay, so we're right. gonna do an experiment. We're gonna right. try yours, we're gonna try mine, and we're gonna see how it works. We're gonna see that mine. Exactly, better. yeah, well, that's debatable. All right, so now we take our white. What are you doing now? We're gonna detail the teeth and the claws. Okay, so then wait, let me, get, let me go smaller. Yep, go, go small. Yeah, you definitely want a detail brush. All righty. This time, since so I don't screw it up, because last time I thought Here, I was doing me. it right. Yeah, watch let me, me watch you do it once. So right on the top of everything, I just do a line of white. Just on the top of everything. Just a little tick of white. You don't want to obliterate that nice sepia stained co bone color. Don't jump to any of the bigger horns yet. Just do the little teeth to get practice. You're just doing kind of the tips of the teeth. Nigel, while being a CPA, did not focus on hygiene. No, he did not. No. That is. You didn't have to. That is clear. Like that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Now, when you move on to the bigger bones, check this out. So I started here with the lines. So what you're going to do is see how there's little cracks. Yeah. Right above the crack, you're going to do a line of white, leaving the cracks. This is so nerve-wracking. See, this is where I feel like I can screw my mini up. And you can't. So this, if you do, it would be a great teaching moment. Yeah, but teaching moments still ruin minis. Teaching moments. It's like, oh wow, I learned that I suck. Awesome <laughs> lesson. How many lines are you putting in? Um, I let the miniature tell me. My mini told me to stop a half an hour ago. <laughs> this is looking good. I don't know what yours looks like, but mine looks good. I think mine looks okay. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah, so you, you're doing a lot more white detail than I am. Yeah. The more you have, the more pop you'll... Oh, you know, you're nailing it. Look at that. Oh, man, you are. That you're right. doing it. Yeah. yeah. And the same thing you want to do, like you're doing the eyeballs. Brace with your fingers on, right. your, on your holder. So I've moved on to the claws. Sick of this thing. But you stay... You, you, slow is better when you're doing this stage. Do not go fast. You can, you can do the dry brush fast. You can do the wash fast. When you're detailing like this, you really want to take your time and be methodical. You can't mess anything up. Sure you can. I can't. You well, can. Yeah. That's just how it works. You doing the toes as well? Yep. And these mm -hmm. the, the horns are perfect because they will tell you where to put the weight. I am like giddy to see this thing done. Just a couple more lines and I'm gonna be done. I'm not gonna do nearly as much white as you. It doesn't feel right on mine for some reason. No, that's good. And and the more white you do, the cleaner it's gonna look. And if you really like that dark, grungy sepia, yeah, I kind of do. Keep it. That's the thing. This is this is only to show what is possible by adding more highlights. We have to do one more wash on the eye, right? Um, yeah, we're gonna do. We're gonna finish with this really nice touch, which is the eye. And a lot of the times, uh, you can see my fingers here. I actually. I can't brace up here. If I'm painting up here, right, I can't right, brace. Right. So actually I find a, a, a nice strong point on the mini and brace all on the mini itself with my finger here. Bracing's important. Bracing is really important when you're doing detail work. Another good tip is you do not want to water your paint when you're doing details like this. The, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, uh, right out of the bottle is gonna be at its thickest. 
and that is where it's most controlled. And so right out of the bottle is perfectly good. You do not want to add water because it will run all over the place and you'll be really upset. It also helps if you just stop breathing. Yeah, I noticed that. It's like a sniper. Yeah, exactly. This is paint snipering. I think it's sniping. Okay, maybe you're right. All right. I think I'm well, going to be done. Look. Let me look. Oh, that looked great. So you've done this really cool thing where you've just done a couple highlights here. Yeah, there, I just want to hit it a right? little bit. I've overdone it, so my horns are a little cleaner than yours. Right, right, right. But it could not be better. I, like, I, I kind of like the, the messy No, I like, kinda, the, yeah. I like the grunge. Yeah, yeah. yeah so the right. very last thing we're going to do is light up that eyeball. And that is right. how we're going to finish this mini. All righty, lighten now, up we the could, eyeball. We could uh, potentially do the same thing to the base, except with a lighter gray. But I kind of like the base the way it is. Yeah, 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 me too. So we're going to leave it. And the wings are actually another cool part. So we can make them kind of fleshy or leathery, but black is really looking good because the overall tone is kind of dark with this bright, vibrant orange belly. Yeah, and then, but it's also the cool, uh, you got the red kind of coming through exactly. a little bit, which is, yeah. which is pretty neat too. That's good. So now we go back to our... So go back to the glaze. By now, the white has been dry, right? We hope. Hopefully. And we're yeah. doing the same technique? Same technique. Drop in a blob. Drop in a blob. And whisk away. Drop and whisk. Let me see. Well, I haven't whisked yet. Oh, good. Oh, that looks good. Oh, your eye is going to turn out way better than mine. You think? Oh, I know. Trust me, I know. Yeah, yours is going to be brighter, and this is the best part. So mistakes, he, he thought he made a mistake, actually can lead you to an incredible discovery. Okay, you whisk too much. Too much, you think? Too much. Yeah, put, put more back in. I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah, more back in. Perfect. Look at that. Sweet. Look at that. Heat. That Check is that out. Awesome. I think we are officially We are done. Done. That is a with done the dragon. Finder, red dragon yeah. from Reaper. Check that yeah. out. Very excited. I am Thank psyched. you so hey, much. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Yeah. We are here once again. We need a big thank you to our master painter, teacher, and also now our pro tip giver, Mr. Brian Merlongi, who came and helped us turn what was just a primed black mini into this wonderful work of art. I appreciate it so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Join us next week as we are gonna have another wonderful master painter. Uh, I don't remember who it is. Who's next week? It happens to be a student of mine. Oh, really? Candace is a student of mine, yes. So Candace is a student, right? And what is she, I think if memory serves. Even a student of mine is gonna school you. I think that's fine. Well, <laughs> I think schooling is the right way to say it because next week we are doing yes. something which I like to do every once in a while mm -hmm. and we are going straight up back to basics next week. Not only that, but we're gonna also do something pretty cool. We don't know what mini we're painting. We're doing a completely secret mini that's coming in the box. We're not gonna know what it is till we open it. So uh, it's gonna be a wonderful time. Cannot wait, please join us. And remember, every great masterpiece starts with a single brush stroke. Thanks a lot.